Quickly, just within the past hour, the Dinwiddie Fire Department has released new information about what happened here at Dinwiddie High School this morning. They say an incident occurred inside a chemistry lab, which then led to a classroom fire and an evacuation of the school. Now, officials say three students were injured and taken to a hospital for treatment, and we did see a helicopter here at the school today. They say another student was treated on scene and released, and a teacher was also taken to a hospital but officials are not releasing the extent of any of those injuries at this time. Right now, a joint investigation is underway with multiple county agencies involved to figure out what exactly led up to that fire. We do know that a demonstration was taking place at the time. Several students inside tell us they felt an explosion. Now, earlier today, Dinwiddie High School principal Robbie Garn spoke to the media to thank parents for their patience, but he could not answer our questions about the investigation instead referring us to the sheriff's department. Was it a chemistry lab explosion? Again, at this time, there will be more information coming out at a later uh, time. Do you know when that information is coming? A lot of parents have a ton of questions. Yes, that is in control of the sheriff's department at this time. Thank you all for your questions. So are Thank they you. leading it? Thank you. Now, today we were told that the school superintendent was not available for an interview, but she should be sending out a statement at some point this evening. Fire officials say students will not return to the school tomorrow. Instead, they'll be back in the building on Friday. In Dinwiddie, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6.